This video is going to be about Pratt and how to use a couple of basic features that will get us going on drawing a visible spectrogram. So first thing that you want to do, it's basically go to the folder where you have Pratt stored and open it up. My case, we have it here. So the first thing you'll notice when you open Pratt are these two windows, Pratt picture window and the Pratt objects. Now, Pratt picture will help us draw out the spectrogram later on. For now, we shall concentrate on the Pratt Objects window. So once we're in this window, what we're going to do is we're going to hit on New, Record Mono Sound, which is what we're going to be using for getting our sounds from the computer itself. Now, when we click here, we can use our built-in microphone if your computer has a built-in microphone. Otherwise, you may connect another source of input so that you can get the sound. For now, we're concentrating on the built-in microphone, which is what I'm going to be using on this one. Now, to record, the first thing you would like to do is perhaps add a name that will remind you of what you're going to be recording. So in this case, we can just say English vowels. There we go. Now we have a name that's pretty reasonable and will help us remember what we're recording. So next thing that you want to do is hit record so that you can record the sounds that you want to have on file. A, E, I, O, you and then we hit stop because we're concentrating right now on the English vowels those are the sounds that we want to make so once we have that recorded we're going to see the new options we're going to see, we're going to hit save to list and close now we have a sound file on the Pratt objects window next step that we want to take is to be able to view and edit once we press this button it will open up a third window here we can see the sound waves and the sound spectrogram. This is what we're trying to catch at this moment. We can also view on this window the formats and also the pitch of the sounds that we're making. Since right now we want to concentrate on the spectrogram, we will not focus on the pitch nor the formats, but they are very important and they shall be used in a near future. For now, let's concentrate on the spectrogram. So we're going to take these options away. Now we have just a spectrogram. So we want to select perhaps this one right here, which looks a very clear picture. So what we can do is we left click and then we drag that button all the way to the left. That way we have the only the portion that we want to view selected. And if we press this button right here, we can get that sound as many times as we want. If we press the, if we press the rest of the buttons, we get the rest of the sounds that we have previously recorded. I, O, U. But, on this case, since we want to concentrate on just the E, for example, which is a very clear sound, we can select it, like that, and then if we want to just select this one portion, we can go down here where it says cell, S-E-L. Then when we click that, it will zoom out on the screen just that one portion of the program that you want to see. Here's the sound wave. Here's the spectrogram. If we click on format again, we can see the different points of the formats. Formats are basically the vibration of the vocal cords as the sound is coming out. So this is what we want to see eventually. For now, we take formats away so we can get a clearer picture. Now, once we have this, and this is a very good picture that we have right here. Now, once we have this, we can use it for drawing it out on the screen. This is where the Pratt picture will come in handy. So what we want to do right now is we go to Spectrum, Extract Visible Spectrogram, which will take only this part of the picture. And if we go to the Pratt Objects window, we shall see that we have now a Spectrogram Untitled file. This is what's going to be drawing the picture for us. So now we go to Pratt Picture. We want to make the screen bigger just to help us see it a little bit better. So we can just put it out like this. Keeping in mind, of course, that this blue rectangle is what's going to draw the picture for us. So let's just go ahead and make it a bit bigger. Once we have this, we can move back to the Pratt Objects window, select the spectrogram file, click on Draw, and Paint. We get a couple of options here, but we can ignore them for the time being. We can just go to OK. And there we have it. We have the visible spectrogram on the Pratt Pictures window. 
Now this is very useful, and if we want to save just this image for later viewing, we can do it very simply by just going to File, Save as PDF File, and then we can select the place wherever you want to save it. In my case, we can just go straight to the desktop. So we select desktop and change it to something that we will remember like English Val E because that is the sound that we selected so we go to desktop we select the name that we will remember and then we click save now on the desktop we should see that we have the file the English file PDF file if we open that file up we should see the spectrogram right there and later on we can use this image for whatever studies we need to do in this case we can also concentrate on formats as they were displayed on the Pratt picture window but for now that's all you need to do so that you can get this picture out printed remember you can go to the Pratt objects record your sounds once you have it you go to view and edit and a window will open up then you select the part that you want to see and you can move on that way you can go to spectrum extract visible spectrogram get the object and then draw it out I hope this video is helpful and I'll be seeing you soon